All right, this is my second attempt at this fucking video. As I was just saying, I had a migraine today, so haven't worked all day. Um, the heat and the lack of sleep last night, uh, just doing my head in, fried all my brain. Um, yeah, not a, not a good day today. I, I'm on sort of slow and hazy, and my, if you've ever had a, a migraine, and I get the silent migraine, so I don't get the, the pounding headache but my head feels like it's, it's a football that's been kicked around and it's all kind of bruised inside. But uh, because it's a hot day now, 38 degrees, I think at the moment, uh, and I'm boiling, I've opened up a can of uh, Eight Wired Moose Peak, I, Hazy IPA. So I thought I'd um, just have that and um, it's medicinal purposes, you know. An unusual taste this one it's an unusual taste this one it's got a very um well you know you have your ipas and you've got all your orange and lemon and citrus and and stone fruits and all that this one has the taste of an underlying taste of gravy i think it's an unusual kind of um kind of taste it's interesting though it's, a, it's still drinkable it's still a good beer it comes from new zealand but the funny thing is while i was setting this phone up and hopefully it won't fall over again ooh, the head on that beast um i came across something just on the shelf down below me here um this and these are i think a packet of couple of hundred flyers. This is from 19, sorry, 2016. Uh, these are flyers from the 2016 federal election when I ran as a candidate um, uh, in the electorate of banks, uh, uh, representing the Animal Justice Party. It was a very, a most interesting period of my life and a most interesting experience. Um, not everybody gets to run for federal parliament, um, but it's an eye-opener. Uh, I was running in what's, what it was, and it's probably still is a safe uh, liberal right-wing seat. Um, and there were several other candidates. Of course, there was the Labour Party candidate and some Christian bullshit and, and an old fogey who represented, who was a, an independent. And it was a most interesting experience um, because you realize how dirty uh, the process is um, when a church uh, holds a public meeting for candidates and you don't get, um, you don't get uh, invited to that meeting even though you're a candidate uh, in the election. And then all the questions at that particular meeting, I'm aware, uh, were stacked. So they, the questions were already preset and the answer is probably already known so it was it was a shambles um it was a most interesting experience especially uh doing all the letterboxing of the of the flyers and addressing the public at public meetings um and i think i ca i didn't come last in the electorate i must i must admit that um i didn't come anywhere near first because it's a safe um it's a, so hot. Uh, it's a safe, uh, it was a safe liberal seat and as we all know uh, the main parties uh, invariably hold the, the, the top tickets uh, in these events and of course the Animal Justice Party uh, I was you know having to push animal rights uh, on the agenda and wasn't really able to speak on other matters, although I probably would now in retrospect. Um, my understanding is that the Animal Justice Party has since uh, gained a seat in New South Wales. Um, but for me, you know, in, in retrospect, I think the, their agenda is too shallow, too narrow. And while their objectives may be admirable, uh, I think, I don't think they're ever going to really make the difference that they want and after the election um, 
there was some wrangling between the national executive and the New South Wales executive, and there was uh, some sort of coup, and some, one of them got turfed out. Um, and then I got a phone call saying, oh, would you, you know, would you be interested in being the treasurer? And I said, well, I've got no experience in that. But I said, it doesn't matter, we just want somebody to do it. And then I thought, this, you know, these, these people are fucked. This is rubbish. Um, so I walked away from that and walked away from all uh, interest in, uh, in politics in this country, other than the fact that I like to deride it all because they're all wankers. All these politicians are all self-serving scum. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting thing to do. It's an interesting thing to do. It's uh, a flawed system, I think. This preferential system, you know, it's always going to favour uh, the big two uh, or in the slightly smaller, bigger three. And um, we're not served well by a democratic, the so-called democratic process at all. It's fucking hot. All I've got is on my, it's, all I've got on is this shirt, my big shirt. And this is a shirt that I should tell you about. I am, um, when I got married, uh, for the third time, funnily enough, uh, three years ago, over th just over three years ago, got all the gear, Went to uh, went to Lowe's, bought the bought the uh, the jacket, uh, the pants, the shoes, the tie. Don't know about the underpants, but it was like a, a package, you know, a package that you could get cheap, one hundred and ninety nine dollars or something, and you got all these things. So I got everything, and then put it all aside. <clears throat> On the wedding day, I go to the wardrobe, uh, the wardrobe, get out, get out everything, get out the shirt. It's about eight. Eight sizes too big for me. I could get eight of me in here. I mean, I've put on weight since I've been drinking this, but I'm not in, you know, blah, blah, blah. So now I just I have to rush to the shop and buy another shirt for the wedding on that on the day. And uh, now I just keep it at night, go to bed in. It's nice and free and easy. That's the bits hang, if you know what I mean. And today it's just so fucking hot. It's boiling. And as I said, having a migraine. Oh God. It's um, and it's probably going to sort of be affecting me for the next two days. Just, just this bruised feeling. But there's another side effect to migraines too that I get, and it's it's confusion. And it's like having a temporary amnesia where you you just can't think. So if I'm sitting at a, at a um, computer, and this is this has happened to me, um, if I'm sitting at a computer, as part of my role, every five minutes I have to push this button, right? The say the F5 button. I do all this, push F5. Do all this, push F5. I've done this before and and had them had a migraine come on, and I know that I have to do something, but I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, I've, I've stood up in court uh, to cross-examine somebody in, in a matter a few years ago and I had a migraine just beforehand and I stood up and I had no idea what I was doing. And that's a funny consequence of a migraine, but it, it's, it's, quite, uh, it's quite dramatic. Um, but uh, yeah, that happens from time to time too. Migraines are, are funny things. Yeah. Lots of things in life are funny. Like the cat, the cat's under the sofa. Won't come out until it gets a bit cooler. Yeah, little monster. Oh well, I shall uh, carry on and uh, that's my yarn, my reflections and my whatever, pitter patter for the day. I shall finish this off. Wait for the missus to come home and see what tonight brings. Radio. Good night, everyone.